your first quarter was the most points any Laker has scored individually since Kobe's last game. Why do you think you were able to dominate the way you did offensively in the first quarter? Uh, just try to uh, do what I do. Just try to uh, be in sack mode. And I say it all the time, I'm at my best line. Aggressive, so. So the first half is a shootout. I think it was 76-67 at the half. Could have gone either way. What changed in the second half? Um, you know, we just didn't get stops. I think that was just, uh, you know, the cue the entire night. Um, you know, regardless of the first quarter, second quarter, whatever, it was consistent that as a team we didn't really defend tonight. You know, the score showed it with 145 points. So You still scored 39 points, so you had a great game offensively. But did they change anything defensively on you after you lit them up in the first quarter? Uh, no, no. I was just... Yeah, just picking my spots and, you know, um, got hot, so. What's the challenge in slowing them down? They're obviously a really good offensive team also. Yeah, they're a really good offensive team. They got a lot of guys, um, you know, they start everybody pretty much, six, eight or above outside of JJ, and all those guys are a threat to score. Um, you know, they have shooting. You know, they're, they're a pretty good offensive team. Um, good team overall, too, so. Does, um, Luke put it as – the team has lost its defensive passion. And what do you think is, is sort of needs to be recaptured for more consistent, not in, just in this game, but just more consistent on defense? Mm, you know, I think one thing, uh, getting Zoe back into the mix, that's definitely one thing. Um, you know, he's had a hell of a you know season defensively, and, you know, we kind of feed off of him. He's picking up 94 feet, getting stops all over the floor, making great defensive instincts. And, um, you know, regardless of not having him or not, you know, it's still no excuse. You know, we as a team, you know, just have to play defense. It's all about effort, communication, and, um, you know, getting the new guys to, you know, get into it as well. You know, just another day in life, so. How was your conversation with Magic? Say that again. How was your conversation with Magic? As a team? Um, you know, we just, you know, just hashed it out. It just, just is what it is. Um, you know. At the end of the day, basketball is a business, and we as professionals have to know that and, you know, play through whatever, so. Is that, is that something you feel like you guys needed? Um, I mean, I mean, I, it is what it is. I mean, you know, obviously we know, we know that, you know, just from, you know, being professionals and being around this business and watching it for so many years you just kind of know people get traded people get put on the block people um, are always in trade rumors and you know that's just how it is um you know, like i've said before that was our first time around and you know a lot of us let it kind of get to us but um you know as professionals we can't so that was the first time you guys had, was this luke was this the first time you guys had heard from the front office that they talked to you specifically about about you guys being in the uh yeah yeah mm -hmm. do, you, do you feel stronger for having um, I mean, of course, you know, any type of adversity you go through is always going to be tough, always going to make you stronger. Um, but you know, I'm always been a tough type of skin guy, um, growing up where I grew up and, um, you know, continue to embrace adversity and, you know, adversity is always in my life, always been so. I mean, anytime Magic Johnson, one of the greatest players in the game, comes, you know, to talk to you, you're always going to be all eyes and ears and optimistic. You know, that's just what Magic is. You know, he's a guy that when he walks into the room, um, you know, kind of electrifies just because of who he is. And, you know, you listen to what he said. When you were in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.